I want to welcome you to this uh, top topic. We are still, but do you know that when the number of explanatory variable increases, like a time we could have so many explanatory variables, I could remember when I was doing my Capson project in Nigeria, I, I look at the effect of exchange rate, consumer price index, and inflation rate on the GDP. You know, I got more than one independent variable in that regard. You know, the moment the numbers of independent variable increases in a model, okay, uh, using the conventional approach where we were differentiating one after the other is going to take forever and we can actually uh, compactly use idea of a matrix. Does that make sense? Now, what I want to what, what I want to walk you through now: How do we use knowledge of matrices in linear regression? And I'm going to show you right now. Now, if you want to use a method of matrix in linear regression, we want to start from simple linear. This is a model. Okay, uh, we got this. Uh, uh, we got this as the model. Everything starts from model specification. If I want to use the idea of matrix, then I need to define each uh, uh, item in the model using matrix. Now, why response variable is going to be a matrix of n by one. If I have 20 observation, that will be 20 by one. Does that make sense? That would be a matrix form. Then X will be, a, we actually call that a design matrix. Okay, now do you know why I have one, 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 and I have X1, X2. The first one, 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 one represent the intercept. Does that make sense? You know, this is the intercept, guy intercept in the model. What is the coefficient of beta now is one. There's going to be one, 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 not true. Then I got X, okay? That very X, okay? I'm actually going to write X1, S2, S3, and so on like that. Imagine if I have, let's say, um, the, if the model is this, if if the model, please, I need you to pay attention because uh, if you want to use the knowledge of matrices here and you don't adequately uh, understand the matrix of each component in the model, there's going to be an issue. Now, let's say, for instance, let's say this is my model. If this is my model, how many how many independent variables to? If I want to write my design matrix, okay, one, 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 then I'm going to have X1, X2, X3. It's going to go like that. There will be another X here. So I can call this X1, one, X1, two, okay, X2, two, two. Can you see now? You can see that the more independent variable I have, the, then the more my matrix is going to be extending. Does that make sense? Okay. Now, I also need you to look at the error. Error and Y, they will always have the same dimension. Do you know why error and Y has the same dimension? Because if I have uh, 20 observations, okay, I can have 20 errors. Because I'm actually going to have 20 numbers of predicted, then I'm going to do y minus y cap. So look at the two dimension. Then we're going to have dimension for the independent variable. Take a look at that. Beta is a vector para. It's going to be vector parameter because the numbers of parameters is two. Then I, then beta not beta one. In this situation now, it's going to be beta not beta one beta two. Okay, in a general situation, it's going to be beta not beta one, beta two up to beta k. Does that make sense? So take a look at that. Now, if I now want to solve with matrix, if I want to use it, you know, I want to do least square uh, equation for beta not and beta one, and I need you to pay uh, attention, it's actually going to be, take a look at this. Okay. Now, uh, if you take a look at what I have here, you actually 
may be surprised. How do we derive uh, these uh, two uh, equations? Okay. Now, if you want to know how we derive uh, these very two equations, then we need to be able to write this in a matrix form. The way that guy is, that guy is not in a matrix form. That is in a scalar form. What I'm going to do, if I want to write it in a matrix form, how much is going to be y equal x, an uppercase x, beta plus the arrow. That is now in matrix form. Where x is that, beta is that, and error is that. The first one is in a scalar form, not in a matrix form. Okay, now, if you really want to understand how we derive this, okay, then you're gonna come here. Please, I need you to pay attention. You know, the formula we wanna use for least square estimator, finding least square estimator when matrix is involved is this guy. Okay, that is a formula that we want to use. Now, in this formula, now I need I need my design matrix X, and I need my design I need I need matrix Y. Now, if you take a look at the first one, okay, if you take a look at this, I first first want to figure that guy out, right? If I want to figure that guy out, I need to first first find transpose of X multiply by the original x now i'm going to uh, here now you need the knowledge of algebra matrix algebra you need to revisit that now uh what is my x and after doing that after multiplying i need to find the inverse now take a look at this that's what i'm doing here what am i doing here you, you know uh if if this is x you know i've def i define that guy as x the other time what would be the transpose the transpose is this guy any question? That is S transpose X. You know, at the beginning, I've already defined, I've already defined my S. Do you see my X? The S will be, will be defined, it depends on the modal specification. Okay, now if that is my X, of course, you know, this is it. Then what am I going to do here? I'm actually going to do matrix multiplication. Where I'm going to use that guy to multiply that. When I use that guy to multiply that, then what I'm trying to tell the world, this is my X prime X. I mean, X transpose X. Now, it's two by two. Why is it two by two? Because I got two, I got two variables. I got two parameters. It's going to be two by two. It's always going to be a square matrix. Okay. And you know, in, in the data, I know my N. I know my summation x, I know my summation x squared. Okay, now after getting that guy now, the next thing is getting the inverse here now. How do you get inverse for two by two? Because in the formula here, you see that I need the inverse of that. Now, after finding the inverse, the, the inverse of that is actually this. Okay, the inverse is actually this. Okay, I I'm actually going to allow you in the final exam to have a sheet where you're going to write formula. Okay, now the inverse is this. Now, the next thing now is to work with this guy S transpose multiplied by Y, which is what I'm doing here. Do you see that? And that will lead you to the to, to that. Okay. The moment you have that, then if I now want to get my beta, okay, if I want to get my beta cap, what am I going to do? I'm actually going to use this to multiply this guy. Okay. And this has to come first. In matrix multiplication, there's a difference between pre-multiply and post-multiply because commutativity does not work. In matrix. Does that make sense? So 
now what do you think I'm going to get for beta cap? I'm going it's going to give me a vector, two values. The first one will be beta naught. The second one will be beta one. Okay, so that is what we actually are doing. Okay, now uh, let me quickly take you to example. I, I will come back to all of this, and I'm still going to now. This is generalization. Do you see that? When you have so many uh, predators, okay? And it means I'm gonna differentiate so many times, okay? But a matrix, super easy. Do you see my design matrix now? When I have P numbers of predators, okay? And at the end of the day, I use, that's what I use. Now, this is an example. Oh, my time is up. I'm going to stop here. I'm going to continue from here. Now, this is an example. We can be given this. How do we apply the knowledge of matrices? It's, uh, oh, my God. This, the probability that something like this will be on the final is one. Why can't you start practicing that? I just give you a clue right now. Probability that something like this will be on the final exam is one. You know where probability is one? You know the meaning? It's very certain that something like this will be on the final. Okay, make sure you, is there any question before I go? Make sure you stay safe. I'm going to see you on Friday. Bye for now, everyone.